So, episode three. Um, we were just having a look at the uh, the tertiary crops, um, or the secondary crops. Uh, the plump helmets being our mainstay in the early days. Um, if we've got some barrels, we should be able to brew. Um, we can. So we're queuing up a brew drink from plant, and we're going to put that on repeat. So uh, as long as there's a brewer about, we'll carry on brewing. As long as there's something for him to brew. Um, if you go into the stocks menu, um, you can see that we've got a bunch of plump helmets, 60 or so. And once we've got a, a bookkeeper, we're going to know much better uh, what the stocks are. Um, but we're still waiting for the farmer here to finish planting up these seeds. Um, so we've still got to plant the pigtails uh, before summer. And uh, the, the top plot, we're going to be putting rock nuts in as soon as we've got plenty of potash uh, which we're going to have to get into making soon enough we've got some migrants um, so this is exciting times as I said as soon as you start getting bedrooms so that's just as soon as you start building um, wealth uh, we've currently got uh, we don't know how much wealth we've got because we haven't got a broker yet we need an appraiser in post um, so we're gonna go we're gonna create a zone um, no we're gonna create a hotkey for our um, main level um, so that's shift H and then we're going to set this hotkey to F3 and zoom and then we can then go from the surface to the, the farms to the, the, to the main area to, to the fortress proper um, okay uh, bedrooms are set the masons probably finished the carpet is probably finished um, okay I'm going to give it all a crash course in hauling as soon as we've got um, enough stuff to work with. Um, minecarts are important. We're going to need some minecarts. Uh, we're going to need wheelbarrows. So we'll put those in there and we're going to make some mugs because our dwarves will be happier drinking from mugs than drinking straight from the barrel. Um, and we're going to need some mechanisms before long. So I'm just going to queue all these up. I think the mason uh, is the same guy as the, the stone crafter. Um, so he's not going to be able to work on both at the same time. He'll just choose which job he wants to do, whatever he fancies. Um, we've got a couple of mechanics in the fort. Um, but right now we've got some Im Im immigrants. So um, once we've got an immigrant wave, first thing we should just check is um, the pasture. They may have brought animals with them. Um, they haven't brought any animals with them, which is fine. Um, but if you don't get them pastured, they're going to start starving, dehydrating before long. Um, DFAC should give you a, an, an alert to that, but it's, it's um, anyways better to just get things sorted properly, isn't it? Uh, rather than to rely on DFAC uh, giving you a, an error warning. As you can see up here, we've got. Um, Using the K key, you can have a look around. There's a an armadillo sow, um, it's partial skeleton, um, sitting on the top of the cart. There's a, an anvil here, which we'll need to bring inside here winter. Um, in the pasture here, we've got the horses. So hopefully they'll start to breed um, at some point soon. Animals that aren't in cages will um, eventually breed. The uh, birds will get some nest boxes set up and they will at some point be allowed to breed. And the cats will breed, of course, uh, quite rapidly. Um, before long, we'll have a, a growing population. We've now got 10 citizens. So I'll just go over to uh, Dwarf Therapist and I'll read the game. And it's showing me we've got some uh, some new, new members of the crew. Uh, we've got a cook. Uh, having a, an extra cook on hand is helpful because they'll be able to render fat um, if there's any butchery done, um, even if the, 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 the cook brewer is brewing, which he'll be doing a lot of the time. So that's that's cool. Um, presser guy, I don't know, probably won't have much use for a presser um, or, a or a glass maker. Um, but we will have use for a wood burner for sure. Um, this guy's a butcher. He's also going to be making a lot of potash, um, so he should get used to making potash.
Saltash. They can also be our Soper. Um, and they'll all, all do hauling jobs as well. This Woodcrafter is coming in the second wave and he's going to be our very first um, very first furnace operator. And uh, he'll be able to start smelting some stuff before long. Um, so once we've made these changes on here, just click commit and um Thor to talk so glad that on Zephon Zulban Avus Cogstacker Dimon Krost will be um updated within the game. Um it's really really helpful. Uh really helpful. Um I would explain how to control dwarves using um unit uh, uh Z uh, what V, whatever it is. Uh, there's all these different ways to do it in game and uh, it's pretty damn complicated I have to say um, Dwarf Therapist is a, a godsend I really um, struggle these days to play without it um, heading back to the fort uh, farmer what's our farmer's name this guy Zulban Zulban he's, uh, he's been um, sorting out these fields so we get some pigtails in and uh, as I said we'll leave the top field um, fallow uh, for putting in the, the quarry, the quarry leaves, the uh, rock nuts, uh, quarry plants, they'll be going in at a later date. Um, down here we've got some tunnels and we've got loads of stone lying around and we're going to be building a stone stockpile down here, a wood stockpile, a gem stockpile. Um, we're going to be building tracks through here uh, let's let's designate some tracks. Um, so we D to designate, and then Shift T for tracks. The um, tracks can be carved into stone, but they can't be carved into. Um, they can't. They cannot. Uh, they cannot be carved uh, into sand, etc. Um, you can build wooden tracks or stone tracks well kind of tracks you like um, if you're building on dirt uh, but that's why we've got the hauling zone down here in the store although it takes longer to delve with tunnels um, it's, they're just, it's just easier and better I think it's better um, and it's much easier to designate these long tracks um, to carve than it is to build them um, it's, a bit, it's just a bit easier Okay, so those tracks are going to feed us wood and stone into the workshop. Um, we're going to build associated piles, uh, stock piles down there. In the meantime, all this stone that's in the tunnels is um, we don't want haulers hauling that stuff and getting run over. Um, so, what we're going to do at this point is just dump it all, um, and that'll designate it for dumping. Now, dumping is um, a task which is designated to all the dwarves who've got their refuse hauling associated so everybody will take that off the uh, miners and farmers so they don't spend the next few days um, hauling stone by hand to a refuse pile uh, the refuse pile will be designated the same way we did a pen uh, with a um, Activity, as an activity zone, um, it doesn't need to be very big, and we'll just put it here. And once we've done it, D for dump, and then anything that's been designated uh, to be dumped will be hauled to the dump. Um, what we can do then is create a stone pile where the dump is, and um, that means the stone will just stay there and. Uh, It'll be used as a, a stockpile. We need to take that wheelbarrow. Uh, we, sh we, sh we should designate no wheel zero zero wheelbarrows uh, for that stockpile. Um, it'll just stay there until there's somewhere better for it to live. Um, so a crash course in hauling and stockpiles is what I said. Um, so we've 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 built some minecarts. Minecarts are used to traverse tracks, and we're going to use them in our uh, quantum stockpiles and uh, wheelbarrows are going to be helpful for fetching a load of stone basically um, they're going to be helpful in that respect and actually we can sell them um, for quite a good value once the traders come next month so we're just going to keep on building those for now 
um, quantum stockpiles. Quantum stockpile is uh, two piles. Um, we were gonna we are gonna make a furniture quantum stockpile. Um, so we're gonna have a furniture stockpile, one one square big, and a, a, a second furniture stockpile, one square big. The lower pile can be as big as you want it to, or the upper pile, the the giving pile. This is going to be the pile that the dwarves are going to go out and collect furniture, and they're going to put this onto this furniture pile, um, as long as it's empty. Um, if it's a bigger pile, there's going to be more empty spaces, a bit more time. But we're just going to make it one large, because that's fine uh, for our needs. So there's a furniture stockpile there and a furniture stockpile there. We're going to take furniture from the bottom pile and we're going to feed it into the top pile and we're going to do that by first of all we're going to stop the top pile taking any um, anything from anywhere it's going to take from links only um, it's not going to have any links but there's going to be a minecart system which is going to drop the furniture put into the minecart from the bottom pile and it's going to drop it into the just going to drop it onto that pile from the top um, so we're going to create a track stop, um, which is done by building um, and control C for construction and control S for the track stop. We're going to press D and we're going to uh, we're going to make it dump in the direction we we, we require it to dump and we, we want it to dump north um, onto the pile at the top, uh, the northern pile. Um, so we'll put that there. We'll make it out of wood and. Um, there it is, it's set up, that's the track stop. Um, in order for that to work, we, we're going to need to create a route. So we go to press H for hauling, and then we create a route, pressing R. And so we have decided where we want the stop to be, which is uh, above this, this track stop. Uh, we're going to press S to create a new stop. Uh, we're going to press Enter. And these, um, these um, guiding, the, the, um, all, all these conditions are going to be deleted just by pressing X. Um, three times and then we are going to first of all we're going to set the conditions for this uh, for this stop the conditions are going to be not the conditions but the, 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 the goods it wants the, the set the desired items enter set desired items and we're going to ask it to take furniture um, and it's going to take that furniture it's, you know, it's going to take it from it's going to take it from this stockpile below so we, we hover over the stockpile and then we press s and it will add um it will, it will add a new condition uh, it take from furniture stockpile number six and it's going to take furniture we've set that by pressing enter uh, so we can escape out and then stop one we can allocate a, a mine cart to and that, we do that by um, highlighting stop and pressing v for vehicle and selecting a vehicle uh, there'll be a red V appear, and that just means that the vehicle isn't present at the stop. Uh, the vehicle will be brought to the stop, and it will it will do its job uh, as soon as we escape out. And um, away we go. Any furniture we've got knocking around will then be put into the uh, mechanism, and it will be thrown into the, the upper stockpile. Uh, you can have a look at the stockpile with care, and you can see already there's a throw, there's a mechanism, and there's a wheelbarrow. That is a quantum stockpile. Um, so very quickly, I'm going to put in um, a small stockpile for stone, so that any stone that's created in this area is going to be routed through here, rather than through going all the way down here and then back up the railway. We're going to put uh, stone in here, stone there. Um, again, um, going to change the settings of the top pile so that it um, takes some links only. We're going to allow only zero wheelbarrows and we're going to do that for, for both piles as in the wheelbarrows the, the bottom pile needs to take from anywhere um, it's going to do that quite slowly because it's only one space big uh, again if you want to make it um, more active then make it bigger or make a bigger pile feed to it etc um, we'll, we'll, we'll work with that uh, we've got two stone piles um, so I'm, I'm going to build another track stop it's going to dump north and it's going to be made of wood and we're going to create another route uh, right, using R for another route we press S and we've got another stop 
and then we can um, set that up. Enter x x x. Get rid of those conditions. Add in the condition for taking. It's going to take stone, and it's going to take that from the stone stockpile. And we do that by hovering over and pressing S, and then we have our stop setup. We can add a vehicle, and again, it's as, it's as simple as that. And then we have a stone a quantum stockpile. Um, what else do we have that's going to be knocking around? We're going to have uh, goods. We're going to have uh, we're going to have finished goods. So we'll do that. Um, we'll do a goods pile. The receiving pile will take from links only, and there will be no bins. We can't have bins, and we can't have. Um, I don't think we can have barrels. We certainly can't have um, wheelbarrows um, or bins barrels in these um, quantum stockpiles so it's just going to be a massive pile of um, things not in storage just a, it's just a big massive huge pile in a tiny little square um, so we'll build another track stop here again we'll dump this one to the north and we uh, can then create a, a route and it's going to have one stop and again, it's going to use finished goods and it's going to take them from this finished goods stockpile. And we're just going to just double check uh, max bin, min bin. Okay, so there we go. Um, we're going to create a, a system for hauling it into. Um, quantum stockpiles I suppose you could call them but that is just part of the way the hauling system works when the, the train reaches the northernmost point of the track it's going to dump everything and it's just going to continue dumping into the same square it's part of the mechanic of the game um, so um, these quantum stockpiles I've just created really are just um, a zero length track um, for infinite dumping um, but what it will do is it will reduce so it will certainly help your frame rate, it will help the game run faster uh, than having large um, piles of, 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 of goods. Um, we're going to have, we're still going to have piles with goods in. Uh, we're going to use bins, we're going to use rock pots, we're going to use barrels, uh, we're going to use all sorts of things. Um, but just right early doors, this is really helpful. Everything's going to be taken care of. If you don't have storage for things, they're going to clutter up workshops, um, they're going to get stolen um, by giant birds uh, or monkeys or, or whatever as you can see the birds have all made their home in the temple the um, video has got a few more minutes to run we're going to briefly check up on our dwarves the the, the, the miners uh, they're getting bored um, but we're going to give them a little job here of digging out a tavern and also we can extend our sleeping quarters for our new shipmates on the good ship Wallbanger or whatever it's called. Um, it's not called that. Oh, embarrassing. Uh, yeah, board walls. They're good ship board walls. It's not a ship, but it's ship ship, if you know what I mean. Um, Right, once this is all dug out, we'll be able to start putting stuff in the tavern. We've already made a couple of tables, but let's make some more tables. If you're making tables, you should make chairs, because if a dwarf comes to eat the food at a chair and there's no table, and vice versa, or maybe not vice versa, uh, they get annoyed. So even amounts of tables and chairs in uh, designated meeting areas at all times. Uh, chests will go into the, the, the tavern and in those will be stored the rock mugs uh, which we queued up earlier um, and also as long as we've got tables and chairs we've got a chest to put in rock mugs and musical instruments. The only other thing we're going to need is a food stockpile um, and we'll just set up a small food stockpile in the tavern. Uh, anybody who visits will eat from that. Um, we're going to Obviously, we're going to just because we're pernickety about this, we're not going to allow seeds to be stored. Um, 
and we're going to ask it to take from the food stockpile up here. Okay, so we're nearly done. Um, really, we do have to start brewing. We haven't already. I think we did a few barrels earlier on. The outpost liaison is here. So the next episode, we're going to be getting into trade. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, shout out all you dwarves and um, keep on um, keep on digging. Strike the earth. Cheerio.